Hi, Larnell. Hey, David. How you doing? Good, 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 man. First and foremost, I want to say I'm a huge fan of your work. You know, everything from oh, wow. you know Undisputed Three up to Titans. Oh, so geez. you know, so whenever I see your name, you know, attached to a project, I know the action is going to be awesome. So <laughs> I'm very, oh, very excited. Nice. Yeah, humbly, so humbly, humbly. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So you know, for, you know, first and foremost, um, if you know, since the John Wick franchise have a very, you know, distinct type of, you know, action style. When yeah. when you came on board to the, you know, to to this project, what was your game plan? Was it to, you know, to to keep that John Wick style and add some of your flavor to it, or was it to deliver something new and and fresh? Hopefully both. Um, but I think the fans will determine that because uh, at, at the end of the day, we all go into it with the best intentions, want to deliver the best action possible. We put our hearts into it. And yes, John Wick is known for a very distinct style, but um, filming style, at least. I'm grateful that um, John Wick was told more of a linear, straight uh, follow of John Wick, the character, as to where in the Continental, we have the ability to explore different characters who all have different martial arts styles. So that kind of helped us uh, to not just have gunplay or, um, you know, gun fu, so to speak. You know, so we were able to explore different options and characters and fighting styles. So it allowed us to expand the world a lot more. So what are some of the, the particular styles did, did, did you use for this uh, for this project? Well, I was able to dip into some karate, you know. So, I mean, look, for one, I'm a karate um, background person as well. So it was, it was great to see that influence on screen finally. But we was able to introduce some kung fu. Uh, some Muay Thai, you know, of course, there's always going to be the, the judo throw here and there, you know, when you get into right. close quarter. Um, but yeah, that was basically the dominant styles because we were in the 70s. So I wanted to respect that time frame. And the team and I, we basically agreed, let's just try to keep it influenced in that that feel as well, but give it a little push and put a little more sauce on it. Right. So we all know, you know, Keanu Reeves did most of his own stunts in the John Wick yes. franchise. So, you know, which cast member from the Continental are, were you, you know, most impressed with as far as you know, the, the stunts, the stunt work on this ooh, project? Ooh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. This may sound so pol so politically neutral, but all of them. Here's why. Well, when I approach a project, my main goal is the audience is watching the actors. Love my stunt people. They are the heart and soul, what they do with their bodies and their talent. But at the end of the day, you first see the actors before you see the stunt people. So our goal is to train them up where they can do at least 80 to 90% of their action. Then we insert the stunt people in the dangerous areas or the parts that are risky concerning any possible damage, you know? So um, I'm grateful for all of them. All of them stepped up and delivered it. That's that's awesome. So 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 pretty much they did 80% of, of the stunt work. On, that was the goal. And you'll be able to see it by based off the camera angles. We don't hide, we don't trick too much, you know. Well, you know, sometimes when you flip to the back, you okay, there's the stunt double. You know, sometimes it's not the stunt double. Sometimes it's just the acting and interaction of the actor fighting, even if it was uh, from behind tied into with another actor. It just gave the feel that you were still present in the fight scene. And it wasn't just, you know, camera tricks to try to fool you into that this is an actor at this point. So I'm going to say 80 to 90%. Wow. Yeah, because I think that's, that's the magic of this franchise. Like it's everything is shot so clear. You can see the actors, yes. you know, doing their the action themselves. So it's, yes, it's yes. awesome, man. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you. Yeah, and I know y'all. I mean, M Mel Gibson is in the, this 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 project as well. Did, did was he? Did he do any action in in, in this in this project? Well, I can't spoil it uh, at oh, this right, point. Right. But but you know, what one thing about Mel being that he's a veteran. He knows his way around some fisticuffs and, and right. those angles and knows how to approach it from a character standpoint and deliver something surprising if he had to do something. Ah, so, okay. gotcha. yeah. <laughs> so how much, um, as far as like, you know, the amount of time, like, you know, you, to, to train the actors as far as the stunts, mm -hmm. um, you know, how, how much did you do you know, a lot of the training? Well, it's different because we're uh, a three night event. So we shot in order. Uh, night one, two, three, or episode one, two, and three, as most people would commonly know. So what we did was we approached each fight scene within the time we had for that episode, such as episode one. That's the first one that came out. So we approached it like, okay, we have maybe three weeks, four weeks of training, and the next thing you know, we're into the episode, and then another three weeks, we're actually filming 
a serious fight scene, such as the uh, opening stairwell fight scene. Um, you know, our actor who came in, he had maybe three, three and a half weeks maximum to learn that entire fight scene and train at the same time. Wow. So it was kind of what you would call feature TV quality, but still on somewhat of a TV schedule. And uh, that's why I'm proud of the actors. They delivered in such a short amount of time. Wow, man, that's that's so awesome. Well, my it looks like my my time is has been wrapped up. So um, you know, I thank that's you so much, Lauren, for your time, man. No worries, thank you. I hope you enjoy the rest of the series. For sure, for sure. I I know for sure I will. <laughs> thank you, All man. Right.